Welcome to the rocket profile of the Vega rocket, the European Space Agency's small sun-synchronous satellite launcher. Vega's first, second, and third stages are all solid rocket motors, and it finishes orbit with a liquid fourth stage. The first stage is a P-80 booster providing 2,261 kilonewtons of thrust for 1 minute and 50 seconds. It is called P-80 because it originally had 80 tons of propellant, but that has since been increased to 88 tons. It is the world's most powerful one-piece solid fuel motor. There are plans for a P-100 and a P-120 version of the motor, with the P-120 eventually replacing the P-80 on the Vega. The P-120 will also be used in sets of 2 and 4 as strap-on boosters for the Ariane 6. Efficiency for the first stage is 280 second specific impulse in vacuum. The second stage is the Zephyro 23 stage, which provides 871 kilonewtons of thrust for 1 minute and 17 seconds. The second and third stages are both made by Abio in Italy, which also handles the main manufacturing integration and testing of the first stage. The second stage has a specific impulse of 287.5 seconds in vacuum. The third stage is the Zephyro 9, which burns for 2 minutes with a vacuum thrust of 260 kilonewtons. It has a remarkable specific impulse for a solid rocket motor, 296 seconds in vacuum. In future versions of the Vega, the Zephyro 40 may replace the second stage, and then there are plans to create a new cryogenic upper stage burning hydrogen and oxygen, which would replace both the third and fourth stage. However, the Vega has been subject of many, many proposed upgrades, including a methane oxygen upper stage, so it is likely that the triple solid stage variant will remain for some time. The fourth stage is the only liquid stage, it is called the Avum, and it has a tiny 2.42 kN of thrust, burning UDMH and N204 for up to 11 minutes and 7 seconds. The actual engine is an RD843 from Ukraine, and it has a chamber pressure of 2960 psi, allowing it to get a vacuum ISP of 315.5 seconds. Its main job is to complete orbit, and then to get the payload to its destination orbit. There have been seven launches of the Vega as of the recording of this video, and all have been successful. Three were technology demonstrations, and the others were all Earth observation satellites being placed in sun-synchronous orbit. All planned launches of Vega are also to sun-synchronous orbit, which allows the satellite to pass over any point on Earth's surface at the same time, providing roughly the same lighting each day. The payload capacity of Vega to such an orbit is 1,450 kilograms. The goal of Vega is to make such launches cheap thanks to the simple manufacturing process of its motors, and if it can be launched four times a year, each rocket would cost about 22 million euros. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the European Space Agency's Vega rocket.